Hello everyone and welcome to this channel. We are talking all things K-pop and pop culture here, so tune in if you're interested. Today we will touch upon accusations against one of the big three Korean entertainment companies, Hype Label, concerning its training system, controversy surrounding live performances of a new girl group, Eyelid, and controversial debut of La Seraphim at Coachella. But before I begin, I would like to note that this video is not intended to spread or spark any hate against the agency or members of any of the groups. I have been a fan of La Seraphim myself and I'm truly mesmerized by how cute the girls in Eyelid are and their amazing concept. Hype is destroying K-pop. Korean netizens are outraged by the company's policy regarding trainees. On April 14th, a viral post full of heated opinions swept through Korean online community. Garnering over 100,000 views in just one night, the author expressed their opinion, stating that Hype is destroying K-pop. In the past, K-pop was known for its strict quality standards, with only best out of the best taking the stage after many years of training. Until the third generation, it was rare for trainees to debut with less than a year of training. Gradually, this tradition began to crumble. Companies like Hype started pushing trainees to debut with just a few months of training. It is known that Won He from Eyelid appeared on the show Are You Next with only a few weeks of preparation and was soon chosen to debut. Similarly, Kazuha from La Seraphim debuted with approximately six months of training. The author of the post believes that while traditional companies like the Big Three, SM, JYP, and YG Entertainment gradually prepare their trainees for debut over a certain period of time, Hype simply releases children without skills for mass production, and the media play it off as if they are the junior groups of BTS. In this, the author sees the beginning of the collapse of K-pop. The Post's author also points out that Hype fans exacerbate the situation by calmly accepting the low level of skills, defending mediocre performances and calling them good. The Post gathered almost 2,000 likes, which is a huge number for a forum post. Netizens' comments look like this. The way they manipulate streaming numbers is so obvious. Looking at the music charts, it seems like you're watching faceless singers. Even if the big three used to compete fiercely, they still held the bar. And now it's all reduced to chart manipulation. It's just a soap bubble. Such discussions were fueled by recent news that Hype has turned into a conglomerate. This is the first entertainment company with such a status. In addition, recent live performances by La Seraphim and Eyelid also drew harsh criticism, leading many fans to be negatively predisposed towards the company as a whole. Ambiguous reactions to Eyelid and La Seraphim's live performances. Recently, internet communities and online platforms have been lively discussing Eyelid and their live encore performances. The first incident that sparked debates occurred during the SBS MTV program The Show, where Eyelid claimed the top spot with their debut title track Magnetic. Just eight days after their debut, Eyelid not only secured the first place, showcasing their super rookie status, but also faced criticism for unstable delivery and shaky voices during the encore performance. The video of the performance quickly spread online, igniting discussions about Eyelid's skills. Internet users who reacted negatively didn't hide their disappointment regarding Eyelid's live vocals. Nevertheless, many also defended the girls, explaining the weak performance as nerves and pressure since it was their first ever win. Despite the mixed reaction, Eyelid's popularity continues to rise as they keep snagging top spots on music shows. At each subsequent stage, Eyelid confidently demonstrated their mastery under stress conditions. They began singing live more confidently, and the stability of Ninja's performances in particular improved. <laughs> Fans started complimenting her skills, increasing support for Eyelid. Haters also targeted La Seraphim. Recently, heated discussions about La Seraphim's ability to sing live have erupted in popular online communities. Last month, after their encore performance during their group's comeback, the group faced criticism for their vocal skills. Viewers accused La Seraphim members of not being able to carry it out live on stage. Since then, the singing of La Seraphim members has been under constant scrutiny. Yeah, I really make it look easy. Yeah. 
internet users expressed their dissatisfaction and once again blamed Hive. They debuted with an excellent song, but their skills disappoint. I'm skeptical about Hive's vocal training system. Success or failure of La Seraphim at Coachella. For the Coachella Festival in the USA, the girl group prepares spectacular performances which, however, faced criticism for their lack of mastery. On social media and internet communities, there continues to be a lot of discussion about controversial vocal abilities of La Seraphim members in live broadcasts. Many internet users expressed disappointment and criticized the skills of La Seraphim members during a video broadcast of their performance at the Coachella Festival. However, it should be noted that the criticism was not about the participants' performances, but rather about about the fact that their live singing was quite poor. A user with the nickname Boss commented on the Seraphim's debut at Coachella saying that Thank you to the group for making it to Coachella in a short time, but the performance was clearly not up to par. He added, at first, the performance was still okay, but the members danced constantly and tirelessly. Starting with the song Sma, it became very mediocre. After La Seraphim's performance, internet users began comparing them to other K-pop groups that performed at Coachella, especially Blackpink. <laughs> In the opinion of many, such contradictions could have been avoided if La Seraphim gradually developed their skills on larger stages, such as global tours as Blackpink did before performing at Coachella. Thus, Source Music, a label of the hype company announced on April 15th in the media, La Seraphim's performance at the Coachella Festival was successful. It was appreciated by the audience and they warmly applauded. In Korean online communities, internet users also reacted to the clean version of the performance. They wrote, it's as bad as if Coachella exposed them. You say it's hate, but they just can't sing. If you ask me, I definitely don't think that the girl should be receiving so much harsh criticism and hate. I can definitely see that they poured so much talent, effort and energy into the performance and I would rather be proud of them. Could the performance be better? Yes. Was Blackpink's performance more impressive? Did they sound better? Arguably, yes. But should we hate the Seraphim? I don't think so. And I even found some videos, some fan cams on the internet where they sound really, really great actually. So I'm assuming it might be down to the sound quality and maybe the people who are actually there and listening to the performance enjoyed it. <laughs> Sakura's reaction to comments about their performance at Coachella. Amidst ongoing discussions about La Seraphim's live performance at the Coachella Festival, Sakura addressed this debate on a fan platform, sparking further debates. She shared her thoughts on the criticism received during their performance, expressing her point of view in Japanese. She reflected on the essence of being on stage, questioning whether it's solely about flawless execution or rather about creating unforgettable impressions for the audience. She aimed to create a stage that would resonate with the audience, leaving them with pleasant memories for the day. She acknowledges that standards may change, but for her, it was important to create an atmosphere where people, even unfamiliar with the group, could enjoy themselves and remember the day. Find something you truly love in this complex world and focus only on the good and what you like. After Sakura's statement, public opinion in the K-pop community turned negative. Comments hinting at Japanese mentality sparked criticism towards Japanese members of other K-pop groups. Discussions expanded, evaluations of Japanese members of various groups emerged, remarks were made about their vocal positions, skills and historical context. Some questioned the necessity of Japanese artists' participation, while others opposed discrimination based on nationality, highlighting examples of successful Japanese members in K-pop. Chowon's response 
Another reason for discussion was Chewon's recent update on social media. After numerous negative comments online, she posted a video of Doja Cat's performance. In the video, Doja shows the audience her middle finger during her performance at Coachella. This video caused up a storm of discussions in popular online communities, and many wondered if it was the singer's reaction to criticism. Some internet users believed that Kim Chewon indeed expressed her attitude towards the situation in this way, while others thought it was just a coincidence. And she Chowon was expressing her admiration for Doja. Later, the video was removed, however. Korean netizens commented on this, Doja Cat is amazing. I think she thought that that part of performance was impressive. People should stop speculating. And that was it for today, guys. Thank you very much for watching this video until the end. Let me know in the comments down below what you think, and I'll see you in my future videos.